continue our discussion on our last question, and since um, you just answered, you're still on the hot seat here in the middle, so <laughs> go ahead and just compose yourself. You want to quick drink water as for both of us. Um, after the event, what can we do to move into a more positive future? Well, that's an interesting question, and I'm not exactly what it means. I'm, I'm guessing that it means after an event where one side or the other overreacts, what do we do for a more positive future? And I guess my response would be good communication, training, and a desire for both sides to work with each other. Um, based on what happened today, I don't know all the details for both sides, but it seems that there was a breakdown in communication. And I think that it's both sides' duties to build that back up and find a way to present this forum and to present this information that's satisfactory to both sides. And I'm not saying that it's one side or the other because I don't know the details behind that, but I do believe both sides need to step forward and make this a better opportunity. I think the entire community can learn from this process. I think having this aired on television where people can watch it at their leisure and so forth, this can be a valuable tool for people to see that we do have a right to speak out, we do have a right to say what needs to be said, and both sides need to have that right, and both sides need to be heard, and both sides need to work with each other so that we don't have problems in the future. Thank you. And to the other side, after the event, what can we do to move into a more positive future? I think we concur. Uh, a common theme keeps coming up, and it's communications. And it's incredibly important to communicate before the events and not after. Uh, the more communication, the more understanding, the better the relationship is going to be, the less likelihood of having that flashpoint, that spark that's going to cause these problems. So I agree with you that we need to communicate better and we're going to move forward in that direction. You know, this is an opportunity for our police officers to see event participants in a different light. Uh, and this training, this state that's going to go out to our officers is something positive. It's also good for the community to see. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to establish personal relationships that are based on this mutual respect and a trust for one another. You know, our officers, when it comes to use of force, that seems to be a, an, another common thing, are given the legal authority to use the appropriate level of force against others for legitimate law enforcement purposes. Police officers, their actions are based on human behaviors, not on human beliefs. And that, that, there's a distinction between that. And uh, we believe in the Constitution. We believe in people's right to express their freedom of speech and to gather peacefully. And when we have people that step across the line, uh, I agree that we need to maybe look at things a little bit differently, have those communications so that people understand where that line is and what actions might be taken against them. So communications in the Thank you to both sides.